is a startling statistic. Almost half of the coronavirus deaths in our state are nursing home patients. There are nearly 4,000 people with COVID-19 in those facilities, and 400 patients have died. WBZ's Cheryl Fiendaka spoke to a woman whose aunt passed away from the coronavirus, and sadly, she has learned her mother has it as well. It's really hard. I mean, somebody was going in the front door at the nursing home and I almost snuck in. You know, I had my mask and my gloves and I almost snuck in just so I could see my mother. I can't see my mother. Mary Fredrickson's family is heartbroken. The 80-year-old is alone and quarantined at Southeast Rehabilitation and Skilled Care Center in Easton. Days ago, her sister Jeanette, who was living with her at the facility, died of COVID-19. And just last week, she tested positive for the coronavirus. So we've just been doing the best we can to make sure she knows she's loved. My son went over there and he was able to put up a big sign, we love you, Grammy. So far in Massachusetts, nearly 4,000 residents and staff in long-term care facilities tested positive for the coronavirus. And more than 400 residents have died which is about half of the state's total COVID-19 deaths. It's pretty scary. The National Guard is testing residents and staff at nursing homes and long-term care facilities, the hotspots for the coronavirus, but they're not testing everyone. Today, the Massachusetts Senior Care Association sent an urgent letter to the governor asking for more testing and more personal protection equipment. Lawmakers say they're looking into the issues. The work on legislation to do additional oversight uh, for nursing homes and also to make sure during a pandemic um, that, you know, testing is, is mandated uh, for individuals. The Senior Care Association says it needs an immediate increase in Medicaid funding, or it says most of these nursing homes will not survive this crisis. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.